video um, as to how I use uh, Scrivener, um, which I've used since uh, 2007, I think, was when I started, um, and I'm a big aficionado. But I don't use all of the things. I think that's something that scares people a lot with Scrivener. They think, oh gosh, there's so much stuff here. How am I going to do it all? But I don't use all the things. This is what I use, and I still love Scrivener so much. So um, here you see I have my document set up. Um, this is my document for the Clue Mysteries, which are starting next week, so uh, hopefully there are no spoilers in what I'm going to show you. Um, I like to divide my um, manuscripts into acts. Um, it's very helpful when uh, I do a lot of planning in advance if I have a really complicated plot or if I'm doing you know, a tie-in novel that requires approval from um, you know, the company and things like that. So here I have... Um, the acts and each of my acts are split into uh, documents. So these are just the documents. You know, you can add more just by pressing this plus button, etc. But um, obviously, I don't want to add any more because I wrote this book already. Um, but uh, here you have all the documents, and they don't look like just the plain white sheet that you saw because um, I have changed the icons, which is my one of my favorite things to do um, in Scrivener. That is done in this document change icon and basically you can change it to look like any color flag any color book any color you know just all kinds of different things um, depending on what you might need so maybe you divide it up by POV so here you see that I have it all divided up by POV and it's very um, color-coded because I have a lot of POVs and um, conveniently in a clue novel all of the people are named after colors so it was very easy for me to find icons of the various colors that I wanted them to be for the sake of this book. Um, then you go into the chapter and this is where all of the really good stuff is I think. Um, so I just put what happens from the synopsis in that chapter here in the synopsis section. And then I just start typing, and I just type as if it's any normal document. Down here in the notes section, um, this is where I will leave notes to myself, like, oh, remember to work in XYZ Clue, right? So I might, you know, work in that. Sometimes also, you can see it here in this Vaughn chapter. Um, here, uh, I there were lines that I was like, oh, this is a good line, but I don't want it here, you know, so I might just cut it and stick it over there um, just for the time being, and then, then I have it um, later. I don't think I was supposed to show you guys uh, Vaughn chapters, but that's okay. Um, and then uh, the other thing that I really like is that you can see here... Um, this is my, my word count for the, this particular chapter. Um, and I have a little word count meter going over here. And when you start the chapter, when you have no words in it, it'll be red. And then as you get more, it'll be yellow. And then it turns to green. You can set the target for any document for whatever you want to. This is set for 2,500 words. And then, you know, there'll be a minimum. And then, you know, a maximum. Well, I mean, you can keep typing over the maximum. But it will actually ding for you when you hit the target, which is like a beautiful thing. It's, it's very gamified. I love it. And then um, up here at the top, you can see that you can set sort of the, the entire target for the, you know, for the manuscript. And uh, you can set like a due date so you know how many words you have to write a day and, and that kind of thing, um, which is great. Uh, so that is... Um, basically all that I do in Scrivener. I don't like make character cards. I don't keep my research there. Um, and But I do keep the entire books there and I love it because I can sit there and I can say, oh, what happened in this Scarlet chapter, you know, a book ago? Because here you can see that I have the draft for the second book also in this same Scrivener. And um, it just it's a really easy way. It, it looks like its own little series Bible. I don't have to have five different documents, um, including everything that I want to have. Uh, you know, I have to like switch back and forth. It's just a really it's an easy click to be like, oh right, that happened at the beginning of the last book. Like double check what was she wearing? What did he say to her? What were the exact words in the note? And it's it's just it's so easy to just look it up. Um, and that's why I love Scrivener. Hope this is helpful.